This podcast is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. Visit the Tech Podcast Network at www.techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here. Welcome to Talcast, your creator national podcast. This is Gospel Gadget Podcast, episode 65. Welcome, listeners, to Gospel Gadget Podcast. We want to show you what God is doing in terms of using technology to spread the gospel message all over the world and especially cross culturally towards unreached peoples. Greetings, Gospel Gadget Podcast listeners. We are excited to be bringing you a whole new series of episodes that relate to media for movements, very similar to what we've been talking about and sharing with you from God Network News. But in this series, we're going to be looking at the same people groups, the same movements, but looking at how technology and media are being used to enhance and spark and even accelerate movements. Now you have so many babies that yes. need need milk, but then they also need, uh, you know, adult food as well coming yeah. soon. But yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah, and it's great though if you can use these phones and Bluetooth speakers. That can help to yeah. to disciple more people and to yeah. feed more more of the young yes. believers. That's really, really good because maybe you you have a person who goes and visits the believers, but maybe they aren't really d- strong enough or trained enough to be able to, uh, you know, give e- everything that they need. But they, you could have more mature uh, leaders in the movement actually call by telephone and speak yes. a message and and lead the people in dbs and things you know so in yes. one sense you you don't have to have your movement leaders everywhere they can reach many other places that maybe they can't go to physically yes. yeah that's we are doing it we are doing it weekly every week where i have a team of a disciple of coaches that locally they go in those areas and um um but it costs uh, it it's a cost because we need to travel they need to travel sometimes yeah. they have to take a bus or a motorbike and um it's a cost so um we we are praying for um these devices that, so that we can have more device and also we can have people going there oftenly it's cost like now my area here where i'm working it's huge huge now um we have like um uh four people group where the gospel has went starting from Yaos and going to Makua Meto and going for, for Chichewa people for, for living in Mozambique and the, Nanja, the Nyanja people. So it's needed to uh, some time to travel to go to them. That's right. It takes it, it takes money to be able to go on buses or or even to have a motorcycle or a bike. Do you do you have a motorcycle or do you have transportation? Yes, 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 I do have. Uh, we are using special for the remote remote area. We are using a motorbike, and okay. I have my 
even also I have my own vehicle, but in these roads, <laughs> when yeah. you go once, when you come, it's breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's right you you might be able to get there but you can't return <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah that's that's amazing pedro really great so have you uh been seeing um i haven't heard you say too much about this recently but i'm just wondering have you been seeing any miracles taking place or any healings or just miraculous things as the gospel's been going forth in that yes. area yes yes we we saw uh, miracles happening one 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 of the miracles that happened recently was um one of our disciple who is staying with us uh, had an, um, a sister living in another village she was sick she tried to uh, go to look for which doctors and uh, she spent a lot of money but uh, she she wasn't um, uh, getting healed but now she decided to go to visit uh, this her sister who is a, our disciple and then she, she was on the way to find out to look for another doc which doctor and when she came to that house of her sister during a night she was suffering a lot with pain and she was wow. crying but her sister mm and her husband on their own room they didn't uh, come out and wake her but they started praying right there in their room mentioning wow. their na her name mentioning her name asking jesus to heal her Praise when the Lord. they were were praying and she could listen <laughs> and mentioning the, her name after wow. finishing the prayer, she was completely healed. You're listening to Gospel Gadget Podcast. Visit our website at godnetworknews.com. In the morning, wow. she asked them, she said that um, last night I was crying here, but I heard you praying, mentioning my name in Jesus' name. So uh, uh, when you finished praying, all the pain went away. Now I'm wow. healed. Praise so, the Lord. Now I want more about this Jesus. I want also to be a follower of Jesus. Wow. They started discipling her and um, uh, they baptized her. She went back to the to their to her family, staying there at the family. They started evangelizing. Seven members of their family came to the Lord. Even their father, their father is a, a big a Muslim. Also, is um, uh, here we call him Malim. Is just not Imam. Is on the middle. Also came to the mm. Lord. And even her mother also came the, to the Lord. So Praise through God. that miracle, it's that is amazing. amazing. Yes. That is great. That's exciting. <laughs> wow, God is really doing some incredible things in your area there. Uh, any yes. other stories? Any other miracles that you have heard that are happening? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please Brother, keep telling me, keep telling me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, in that village also, one of the, um, uh, one of the miracles is that uh, Jafar himself, he was one of the Muslim leader and his father was, um, uh, was um, a big imam. And what happened here in, in, in the area, in our region, most of these imams, they use, uh, they are um, uh, Muslim leader, but also they practice witchcraft. And mm. this, this Jafar, 
was known as also a big Muslim leader and also uh, he, people they were fear, they had fear of him because also mm. he was doing witchcraft dog medicines. He was, yeah. uh, they could witch anyone. Wow. But when he, get, he gets saved, something changed. Uh, la, uh, in two weeks later, was um, one family sick and they brought to Jafar. One of our disciples was there. He prayed together with Jafar and people when they saw Jafar praying in Jesus' name, people they were, wow, this is, uh, uh, it will work. He, 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 Jafai said that it's not me who will heal, it's Jesus. And wow. immediately that uh, family were healed because they were suffering of a demonic attack because mm. of involvement of witchcraft medicine. Right. So he was wow. healed. And, and this is also... That's why most of people, when they saw, they say that, yes, this is, is almighty God. Because they know Jafar, they know him, they know what he was yes. like, and they, they know how powerful the evil, you know, the evil power is or was in their lives. So to see him with victory and freedom... Yeah. Yeah, And now uh, the power that's coming from him as he prays for people is from God. It's from Almighty God. It's from Jesus. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a pure, it's out of love, and it's not out of fear. Yes, yes. And um, last Sunday, I went there to visit. When I came, we had our DBS, but later on... <laughs> There was a line of people who wanted prayer for healing. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. They're lining up at the house or? Yes, they come normal. The houses here, they have um, a small fence of grass. So they came there, they asked it. So they were there sitting on the floor for, for oh, waiting wow. for the prayers. And um, wow. this is... For me, it's um, one of the things which is a, for me is a miracle is mm. a, a changing of the world view. Yes, yes. For many years, these people have been trusting, putting their trust on witchcraft, doctors and medicines, trusting in, on, on idols. But now yes. they see that Jesus is more powerful. Jesus is our savior. Jesus yeah. is our solution. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider donating to help us continue to bring exciting stories fresh from the field. Visit our website at godnetworknews.com and select the PayPal link on the right side of the page or consider becoming a Patreon partner to receive access to more valuable materials exclusive to our members. 